So my body and my pots is literally yelling right now. Get back, get back. So I got to get back or else I might end up on the ground. We are Van Life Voyages. Join us as we show you how van life and being outdoors can lead to a more fulfilling lifestyle that is good for your health. Here I go. In this video, I'm going to show you a real day living with pots and how everything has to be just right to avoid an episode. Plus my top five prevention tips. So stay tuned. Down the hatch. Okay, now for those meds to kick in and we'll be good to go. I have to take them, have them kick in before I take her on any walks or else I'll be in trouble with my pots. So, ooh, still looking a mess. You'll see me, I'll look good. <laughs> or I'll look decent in a few minutes after I get ready. But you gotta get those meds in first or I'll be in trouble going for a walk. So, gotta let the heart and blood pressure settle down and do their thing when you have pots. Plus get my fluids in. So that's what I did first thing. Van's all clean. See the beds all made, vans all clean. After I clean myself in the van, it's time for our walk. She's already been fed. My leash and the training bag. It's a fanny pack I wear. But you can see she's down there waiting for her walk. She knows it's coming. Here we go. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh, she's back up laying down on her little pad. See that? She's waiting patiently for walkies. That's what we call it, huh? She heard me, so she's just she's just waiting patiently. Do you want to go? Are you ready for walkies? I go on a walk. You go walkie. All right, here we go, love. We got our leash on, huh? So now we gotta go walkie. Oh, it's a beautiful day down there at the lake. Oh, it's beautiful. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to go the other way, love. She's so excited. Normally, she's not pulling on me like this, but she's so excited she wants to go. All right. Come on. Let's go. See, I'm very distracted right now because my nose is taking me everywhere. She loves living this life. She absolutely adores the van life, huh? See, I adore the van life. Yeah, van life with the puppy has been a completely different experience because I had old lady Bella and she didn't go on walks like this. She was too old. She would just, you know, Stay in the van, stay in her little bed, sleep a lot at the very end. And we did go on little walks, but nothing like this. She couldn't keep up. She was just too old, 17. And this dog, being a puppy, she'll go, go, go. She would go on a million walks a day. But, yeah. We do two big ones, like I said, and a couple of smaller ones for potty breaks. There's a dirt road going down to where we had the meetup. Maybe we'll walk down there so you guys can see it. Right there's the van. I like to be up on the hill. I like view to have views. And see, we're kind of in our own little cubby with the dam right there. Go, she wants to head down to the water. Look at these beautiful clouds and the beautiful blue skies that match the water. Incredible. That isn't that beautiful. Yeah, here at the lake we don't have a bunch of trees. We're kind of in between the Sequoia being here in the Sequoia National Forest, we're close to the big trees and also the desert, so we're kind of in between here. It's a hot place in the summer, more desert like. But we are close to the big trees. Once you start heading up the Kern River, you will hit the big trees about an hour up river. It's really pretty. OK, 
Okay, over that way near the dam where that truck is, we had the meetup. And when we were here for the meetup this last spring, um, the water had came up like 30 feet while we were here. Oh, what's on that eye? Anyway, water had came up like 30 feet, so it had gotten higher just by, by us camping. We couldn't camp right on the water because we knew the water was constantly still rising then. So it'll be the same way in the spring. There'll be some snow melt off and it'll start making the lake go higher. So we take that into account when we do our meetup location. But it'll be somewhere around here. That's for sure. There's Sage. And she's pulling a little bit too much when she's not supposed to be pulling me right now. So we're going to have to stop again. Anyway, hope you guys like our little walk around here. She's really a sniffing. We're going to go back in the pen for a while. I know you love to sniff for hours and hours and hours, but we got to go. Body's tired. I need to go rest for a little while. Come on. Mommy's got to rest. Can't be on my feet for this long without getting tuckered out so come on come on love been for like an hour out here just letting her sniff and just everything by the water line and it's been great but yeah i get tired out i've been doing we've been doing walks at least a half an hour twice a day but this time it was like an hour so my body and my pots is literally yelling right now get back get back so i gotta get back or else I might end up on the ground sitting. We're really, really close, Sage. Let's go. Mommy doesn't feel very good. It's time to go lay down for a while. Come on. Come on. She sees the van and doesn't want to go back. She wants to keep sniffing, which sometimes happens. But Mommy's got to go. Mommy needs a drink and to lay down. So let's, let's roll. Let's roll. The good part about van life is that when I'm not feeling good, like what just happened, I can come straight in here and lay down. And I got my bed right here so I can get my pots re, um, I guess, get back in the equilibrium and I lay down and put my feet up. Everything kind of takes a while but settles down. Anyway, so I'm going to lay here a while till everything gets settled down. <sighs> that happens sometimes. It was just a little bit too long for me. I've been walking a lot, so I'm on my feet a little too much. And as you can hear, a sagey right there. She can see me because I have the door open. And I'll turn it around and you can look. And um, she's barking because she wants me. Anyway, let's turn this baby around. Yep, there she is. <laughs> see, the door's cracked and she's right there. I know I see you too but you don't need to come in here with mom right now you can take a nap out there I might have to shut the door for a little nap, huh? let mommy have a rest mommy needs a rest oh you want to lay down with me is that what you're saying oh mommy's in the bed laying down and you want a nappy too you want to snuggle with mom okay we might have to make that happen we might have to make that happen love okay she just really wanted to get in with get into me so I brought her in and she's licking me she's so happy she might know I don't feel good so she wanted in real bad and she came straight in and started licking my face so apparently she just wanted to be with me give me lots of kisses lay down with me she knows probably knows I don't feel good huh and when I get dizzy like that or when my blood pressure drops and I have issues I get really tired it's like, I don't know, it's like a extreme fatigue that comes up, comes over you and you just have to sleep. And then once you start feeling better, you're able to get up and resume normal activities, which is, this is one of the reasons I had to stop working because as a nurse, you can't just pass out, you know, lose blood flow to your brain and then have to sleep it off. Living with postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome or POTS can be challenging. Before my meds, I can't even stand for short periods of time as I have episodes, but when my meds kick in, for the most part, um, I do okay, just depending on all these things, if I've done all these things and if they're helping, then I can stand for longer periods of time. But like in this video, it was just too much, too long. When I get a POTS attack, it can be scary. During an attack, my heart rate suddenly increases around 30 beats or more per minute. I feel lightheaded, dizzy, and I've even had episodes where I've passed out. 
It is definitely a scary experience that I don't wish on anyone. But there are ways to prevent POTS attacks. One, I now make sure that I take my meds early so they are fully in my system. They help manage my symptoms and prevent attacks. Number two, I make sure I stay hydrated. I have to drink extra water more than the usual person to keep up my blood volume. Number three is I add extra sodium to fluids. It's a higher sodium diet. Number four is to wear my compression socks. Well, I got these compression socks and I'm in love. They're so easy to put on. They're so soft. I am so happy because, and they're cute too. I've had some ugly, uncomfortable compression socks over the years. These babies are easy to put on and super soft. Look at them. Cute, comfy. And look at all these other colors I got. And number five, the mistake I made during this episode is to avoid standing for long periods of time. Um, before my meds, I can't even stand for short periods of time as I have episodes. But when my meds kick in, for the most part, um, I do okay. Just depending on all these things, if I've done all these things and if they're helping, then I can stand for longer periods of time. But like in this video, it was just too much, too long. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more information. Just say it. Please subscribe for more information on POTS, outdoor living, disabled travel. Whether you have a disability or not, you can become part of our van clan for just watching. Please leave a comment if you have any suggestions down below or just in general about what you think about this video. I love all your comments and they really help the channel. So comment away, we love you guys. Put some emojis or something in there. Let's have some fun in the comment section. I'll meet you down there. And remember, nature is the best medicine, so get outside. See you next video, bye. Now my wheel's in motion.